Well, the Texas primary elections are tomorrow, and Texans are gearing up to hit the polls. News 12's Aaron Pillay has more from both Grayson and Fannin counties. The importance of primary is this is an opportunity for voters to select who they want to be on the ballot in November. The Texas primaries are Tuesday, and while in some races it's a first step toward victory, other local races will be decided because only Republicans file to run. In primary races with more than two candidates, a candidate must capture a majority of votes to win or the race advances to a runoff in May. Early voting ended last week. Both Fannin and Grayson County reported a high voter turnout. We had a 16 percent turnout, which is pretty high. Fannin County voters will choose their new sheriff, district judge and district attorney, as well as county commissioners in precincts one and three. And on the Grayson County ballot, district attorney, county commissioners for precinct one and three, and constables in precinct two and three. Republican voters in both counties will choose between incumbent state rep Reggie Smith and challenger Shelley Luther, as well as who will succeed outgoing state senator Drew Springer. The Republican ticket has 13 uh, propositions that are on the ballot. It, and it'd be a really good time to read up ahead of time again before you get there and make those selections. Before you head to the polls, make sure you have a photo ID handy. There are seven different types of photo ID that are uh, acceptable. This includes a Texas driver's license, passport, and citizenship certification. Polls will be open Tuesday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information on where to vote, visit our website, kxii.com. In Bonham, Aaron Pillay, News 12.